Hello viewers, welcome to engineering study materials. Today we are going to discuss about the automated assembly system. So let's get into this video. Automated assembly system is a system that performs the assembly operations automatically. There are two types of automation generally. They are fixed automation and variable or a flexible automation. In this fixed type of automation, the assembly operations are fixed. That is, they cannot be changed or it cannot be modified. But in case of the flexible automation, we can change the automated assembly commands so that we can perform the various tasks. So what are the needs to perform the automated assembly? The needs are high product demand, stable product design and the assembly consists of a limited number of components and product is designed for the automated assembly itself. So these are all the characteristics that make to perform automated assembly. So what are the types? Inline, dial type, carousel and single station. Inline, this is a simple assembly machine that consists of a straight line and, uh, and the line in between consists of an automated assembly unit or a machine where the raw material or a parts to be assembled are sent from the beginning and the automated assembly machines perform the assembly operations and finally the, uh, the assembled parts are taken out from the end of the line. So dial indexing machine is a machine that consists of a dial indexing table and assembly or automated assembly machines are, per, are uh, situated on the periphery around the table and the starting parts are set to the star, start or fix, uh, placed on the fixture so that the assembly machines perform assembly operations and finally when the table is rounded we get the completed assembles. Carousel assemble system. This is quite similar to a dial indexing table but it is in a loop format and in the lengthy process the advantage of using the carousel assembly system is that large parts can be assembled in this type of the carousel system rather than in the dial indexing table because large number of the and um, many units of assembly machines are can be placed in this type of the carousel systems so that we can get, get the completed parts easily single station assembly cell in this assembly operations are performed on a base part at a single location itself a robot is sometimes used as an assembly machine the starting base parts are inserted from the beginning and the parts that are needed to be added are placed on the hopper of the assembly automated machine so that the assembly operations are completed and finally the completed assemblies are taken out from the end so this is a short video friends if you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching